problems for a patient. Who suffers most from sleep problems, men or women? Well, it really depends on which sleep problem and at what point in life we're talking about. Women are historically known to have more problems with insomnia, uh, and men having more problems with snoring and, sleep, snoring and sleep apnea. But now that we understand more about the upper airway resistance syndrome, we're really not sure what the statistics are because we're realizing that a lot of women with other problems such as chronic fatigue actually have sleep problems. Actually, I've realized there's one problem that we didn't touch on, and that's chronic pain, fibromyalgia. This is a real exciting area, especially for me. I'm treating more and more patients that have fibromyalgia and chronic pain by treating their sleep. During your sleep, your body is restoring itself. And so by getting good restoration, you're not going to have as much aches and pains. And by improving sleep, we've actually taken patients with fibromyalgia and made them to where they're pain-free. Very interesting. With us now is Nancy Schweining. Nancy was drastically hindered by her difficulties with pain and with daytime sleeplessness. She was evaluated and treated by Dr. Simmons. Nancy, I want you to tell me about the type of difficulties that you were having before you were evaluated and then treated for your sleep problems. I was tired all the time, extremely tired. Uh, a better word would probably be exhausted. Um, I saw uh, multiple doctors uh, with lots of diagnosis, uh, one of those being fibromyalgia, uh, rheumatoid arthritis, um, lots of different diagnoses. Um, I, I had extreme pain all over my body. Nancy, I understand that Dr. Simmons diagnosed you with obstructive sleep apnea and he has you on a combination treatment with CPAP for your sleep apnea and a non-standard treatment with a medication that is typically used to treat patients with narcolepsy. That's to provide additional improvement in your fibromyalgia pain symptoms. How are you doing with this treatment? Now that I'm on my CPAP and I'm on Xyrum, I actually couldn't be doing any better. I'm doing fantastic. Um, I'm doing better than I've done in 20 years. I'm actually uh, gonna be 55 in April and I'm, I'm getting ready to go back to college. I absolutely have my life back. I couldn't, be, I couldn't be more pleased. So with your pain improved, tell me, how has this affected your life? This winter is the first winter I can go outside. We have an 1,800 acre ranch on the other side of Kerrville and I hunted this year. I killed, uh, my husband had just gotten a pacemaker in and he was supposed to shoot the gun and so um, we went hunting and he said, uh, you know, I'm going to hunt anyway. I said, no, just tell me what you want me to shoot. And so I got an Axis and an eight point and a nine point uh, whitetail. And uh, I couldn't have done that before because I was so, uh, I, couldn't, I couldn't tolerate the cold at all. And so I was actually able to hunt with him again. I can stand the cold now. I can go outside. I couldn't do that before. I had to stay inside all the time because the difference is when there was a change in weather. See, when you have fibromyalgia, all of that affects you. Everything affects you so much. The, the changes in the weather, when, the, when you have the fronts come in, all of that is very, very painful. Who would ever have thought treating sleep problems could solve so many other problems?